Um, the, this is the time for the master thesis. The, this is around about six months, and normally the students go to a company and work there and make there their master thesis. And around about 90% of the students will be part of the company after this um, time. I think it's a very well um, concept, and we are very proud of this master because. Um, Every semester we have place for 20 students, and uh, for example, for this semester we have had 500 applications. And I think this is a, a good sign. It's an international degree, it's in English, and the students came from all over the world. Okay, but now I want to inform you about our research themes, and I will start with the themes that are involved by me, because my background is civil engineering. I have worked 10 years for GL, Germanisch Lloyd. It's the main company for the certification of wind turbines. And during this time, I have headed the um, department of rotor blades and civil engineering. As our themes are a guide tower, I will go a little bit more into, into details later. Uh, rotor table tower too. And, um, the third project is a structural health monitoring, and the idea is um, after the 20 years, um, normally a wind turbine is certified for or calculated for, um, we will have some time to use this um, turbines, and how can we do this? And the new idea is to have a condition monitoring concept at the last years, and then we can extrapolate the loads we have had on the um, different turbines. Yes, the, third, or the next project is a rotor plate developed in timber or in wood. And I will go also a little bit more into detail in this project. And ROS is a, a very new project for small wind turbines. And the other themes um, is created by my colleague. He is an electrical engineer and his expertises are the interaction between the grid and the wind turbines. I think it's very important too for the future projects and um, I don't want to go into details now. And we have some projects um, that could be interesting for some of you. These are more uh, driven by the education. And for example, the first Gado, that means German and Danish offshore wind. It's a project where we um, try to find fields for education in the offshore wind business. Yes, and another, or another project, or maybe the most important project for you is PESA. PESA is a um, cooperation project between North Germany, Namibia, and South Africa. And the idea is to transport or to um, bring the education system from Germany into the wind business to, to the country in the south of, of Africa. Okay, um, now I want to go a little bit more into the technical aspects and therefore I brought you a short movie. And this movie was made during my time at GL and it shows the, uh, the first test of a wind turbine. This is a Vestas V90. Um, turbine, that means the diameter is 90 meter of the turbine, it's a 2 meter of a turbine, the costs are around about 2 million euro, and the half height is 100 meter. And um, during the installation phase, you have to do a test. There are two tests. The first test is an um, accident stop, and the second test is an overspeed test. And um, you will see how the uh, rotor blades work, how they pitch, and what happens with the tower. I will start it now, maybe we have... Okay, I have to go back, it was too quick. Okay, now it works. Okay, this is in German, that means the Netherlands stop. And you see the turbine from the bottom to the top. It's a standard tubular steel tower. And now the turbine was stopped. 
the rotor blade, blade pitches and the brakes were uh, put into the turbine. You see the nacelle is going up and down and um, yes, normally I ask what you think, how, how far it is, how, or how, how high is the deflection and um, maybe some of you will give me the answer after the next um, short movie. Uh, this is a movie where the turbine goes in overspeed. The um, full, full load, um, um, full load uh, uh, speed is uh, around about 15 roundings per minute. And the eye frequency of the tower, you can measure it very easy, you can see it now, is um, 0 0.25 um, hertz. And this is very close to each other. And um, that is the reason why um, when the turbine goes low speed, why um, it, it imposes the, the tower and the tower um, goes back and forth. Okay, and my question was, what do you think? How, how high is the deflection of the tower top? Maybe you can call it in the room. Three meters, four meters? Three meters, no. It's very close, but it's around about one meter in both directions. That means two meters. Okay, and this shows how high the deflections are and how many load circles we will have during the lifetime of 20 years. So that are up to one billion life cycles. Okay, now we came to, the, to our ideas of research and there are three research projects I want to explain very briefly, but a little bit more in detail than the other ones. Normally the turbine rotates, or yours, at the top of the tower, yes? Everybody knows this, the turbine goes in the wind direction at the top of the tower, and our idea was, is, or was, um, to bring this yaw gear to the bottom of the tower. Okay, and the, what could be the reason? On the one hand, it's bad because we need a bigger and more expensive um, yaw gear at the bottom. But on the other side, we have the chance and the possibility to build and create the tower according to the main wind direction. Yes, all the towers today have to be, they have to have the same stiffness in every direction. And if the tower will, will turn into the main direction of the wind, we have the possibility, for example, to have a, an ellipse or um, yes, we don't need a, a circle. Yeah? And um, another reason, therefore, is um, that the bridges are around about 4.4 4 T meters maximum so that you can transport the, uh, the tubes to the sides. And if you have an ellipse, you have the possibility to, to, to design a smaller, um, a smaller uh, concept. Okay, this is, this is one idea. And, um, there's one more point you have to know, that the costs of the, of the tower, for example, for, for a one megawatt tower, um, the turbine costs are 1 million euro, and for the tower you have to pay 300,000 euro. If you have a 2 megawatt turbine, you have to pay 600,000 euro, roundabout. And if you, um, if you can lower the costs, it's very important, it's a very big part of the cost of the whole wind turbine. The second idea was a guide tower, this is not new, it's, a, it's an old idea. But for guide towers with cables, the reasons are the same. We want to minimize the material and we want to have a, a concept where we can, that we can well transport. This design was made together with Aerodyne and um, with an Aerodyne turbine. It's a 2.5 megawatt turbine with 140 meter hub height. And, um, the idea here, or the problem of a standard guide tower is that you need a very large foundation and the cables um, have to be pre-stressed at every time. And um, therefore, we looked to the, to the sailing boats 
and um, see that they have the same problems. And um, so we use the struts. This is the struts. And um, with the struts, we, now we have the possibility to bring the cables closer to the, to the bottom of the tower. And um, our research shows that the guided tower is, um, we need less mass. That means we have less CO2 emissions and we have um, less costs for the turbine. And last but not least, um, I have brought one information about the um, timber blade or the wood blade. And the idea was to go back to the, yes, maybe 20 or 30 years before, where all the rotor blades were made in, in timber or in wood. And um, our, our impulse was that normally these rotor blades are made by um, glass fiber, glass fiber reinforced um, uh, plastics. And this is not the best material for, um, for the renewable industry because you have not the chance to recycle this material. And um, so that we tried to develop a, a rotor blade in, in timber or wood. And um, the result is that it is possible. We can uh, design it with, uh, with a full profile. That was the first idea. But then the masses are higher than for a, um, for a glass fiber um, reinforced plastic blade. And so that we also use it, um, sorry, so that we also use this, um, okay, I think I don't have to show you the picture, I think it was the last picture, um, so that we don't have to use um, the carbon fiber reinforced plastic, only, um, only for, for some segments. Thank you for your attention, and now we have some time for, for questions, please.